You got your coaxial cable. You got your LMB cable. You got a F connector. F connector. Now, you got on your DSTV a problem. You got an error message, E48 error message, E48 error message on your DSTV. You got a poor signal. You got a loss of signal. Now your signal strength is very low. You don't have a picture. This could be caused by your F connector. Brother and sister, stay tuned on this video till the end. I will show you how to solve your DSTV problem by fixing your F connector with your quartial cable. Stay tuned. Guys, like I said in my introduction, we will be connecting this, this, to this. We connect it to this so that it become like this. Become like this. So this procedure will save money in your pocket. It can fix your signal your DSTV signal or your satellite signal. Follow me. For this, what do you need? Actually, because you need your knife, you need your cutter, and you need your solid tip. That's all you need to do this. And we're going to use the cutter. This is a cutter and this is a coaxial cable. I'm going to cut it. I'm just cutting a little bit down. And be careful not to cut your finger. Maybe like two centimeters down. I cut it and then I cut it round as well, a little bit lightly. I cut it round because I have to take the insulation, white insulation, on the cable. Take it out after I cut it. I cut it nicely and then I take it out. It's not by force. Eh? Just take it out like this. When I take out the white insulation on the cable and then I will have this aluminum bra and then I pull it down like this. As you can see, I pull it down like this. And then I still need to cut to reach on the copper. Have a look. I need to cut here by leaving maybe like two centimeter, uh, two millimeter from the the white insulation. Then I take out this, and then I squeeze it to take out the the second insulation on it, and then I pull it out. Remember, the procedure here is to make sure this one, the white, the, this aluminum bright, and this copper must not touch each other in this procedure. So if this one and that touch each other, you're still going to lose your signal and you're still going to have a signal problem. So make sure this and this doesn't touch each other. I pull it down. And then I'm going to take my F connector, which is this, this side going to the LMB or going to the decoder. And this side is the one going to the cable. So I put it there. And then I push it arm down so that the cable can fit inside properly. And when the cable fit inside, I can show you. I can show you, you can like check inside, you realize that the copper is not touching the aluminium. The copper is not touching the F connector. That's perfect. But you can see it's very long. I need to use my side cutter and cut it. So I'm going to cut it. Just check the way I cut it. I cut this. And the F connector is well connected to the quartial cable. But I still have to protect this. I just take this. I just put it close here. Yeah. So let him touch the, the F connector nicely. And then I use, some people leave it like this, but on my side, I always use a solid tip 
to hold it more better. I hold it more better like this. I hold it like this. And then when I put solid the tape, for me, it's very good like this. So you can see the F connector have been connected to my coaxial cable very well, as you can see. Now, this, this uh, F connector can be connected to my LMB out, or this F connector could be connected now to my decoder inside a house. So most of the time when I say to a client to make sure your F connector is well connected to your coaxial cable, it's meaning that you have to do this procedure. And when you do this procedure, now you can go to your decoder inside a house and put it on the LMB in. And you just put it there, screw it, and you can see that will be properly screwed. And you can see even if you pull out the cable, the F connector will be holding the cable. The solid tip also will be holding the quaxial cable. So you are well protected by using the solid tip. So that's how you have to connect it. Then we will have a case whereby your F connector is rusted. And because it's rusted, that's why it doesn't give you a good signal. Maybe the join or your T join is rusted. And then now it's rusted till your F connector is rusted and you are losing the signal. So you have to check that one. But if you do a proper connection, F connector like this, you will be able to connect it to a T like this one also without problem. And screw it there like this without problem. The same way you will be able to connect it to your LMB outside. So that's why I'm saying it's very good to know how to connect your F connector to your coaxial cable. Just by knowing this, you can solve a lot of problems. Like I named it in the introduction, you can solve your loss of signal. You can solve E48 error message. You can solve the quality of your signal. You can solve the strength of your signal. So now at home, if you got your decoder, always check at the back. If your F connector is well connected to your decoder, just by doing that, as I'm saying, you can save money. You can save money in your pocket. If this video was interesting to you, Thank you for watching. For those who have been with me since the beginning of this channel, thank you for your support. And for you, you just discovered me now. I would advise you to subscribe, subscribe, share the video, share the video massively. And so that we can in the future uh, talk about new things and guide you for other new things. In this channel, we start small and we grow, 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 grow. We start small while we are thinking big. So, my name is Alphonse Foucault. Till next time.